Welcome to my channel. Today we will study magnetic field pattern of a solenoid. We will find out the direction of these field lines with the help of right hand grip rule. Moreover, you will learn that magnetic field lines of a solenoid are very similar to that of a bar magnet and later on we will compare right hand rule and right hand grip rule. Moreover, you will see that the field due to a solenoid is influenced by the presence of a ferrous pole. A solenoid is a long coil with a large number of turns of wire as shown in this diagram. The shape of the field is determined by the iron filings. Inside the solenoid, it can be seen that the lines of flux are close together. They are parallel and equally spaced. Hence, the field is uniform and strong inside the solenoid. If you reverse the direction of the current flow by changing the terminal of the battery, the direction of the magnetic field will also reverse. And it can be seen that the magnetic field outside the solenoid has the same shape as the field around a bar magnet. Now we use right hand grip rule to find out the direction of the magnetic lines of flux of a solenoid. A right hand grip rule states that curl the fingers of the right hand in the direction of the current and your thumb now points out in the direction of the lines of flux inside the coil towards the end of the solenoid that behaves like the north pole of the bar magnet. This right hand grip rule can also be used to find out the field lines due to a flat circular coil. This is a flat circular coil. See the direction of the current and the direction of the lines of flux due to this circular coil. This direction is also determined by right hand grip rule. Here we can compare two rules, right hand rule which is used to find out the direction of the field lines when current flows through a straight conductor and right hand grip rule. They are slightly different rules. The right hand grip rule applies to a solenoid. The fingers are curled in the direction of the current and the thumb then gives the direction of the field. The right hand rule applies to a current in a straight wire. The thumb is pointed in the direction of the current and the fingers then give the direction of the field. Earlier we studied that all magnetic fields are caused by the movement of charged particles. As an electron spins, it acts like a tiny electric current and so it produces a very tiny magnetic field. In some atoms, the magnetic effects of all the electrons cancel out each other, in others they do not. And so each atom acts like a tiny magnet. In ferromagnetic materials as we have studied earlier, these tiny atomic magnets can line up with each other to produce a very strong magnetic field. So what happens when a ferromagnetic core is placed inside the solenoid, the atomic magnets of the core line up along the lines of flux inside the solenoid and so the core becomes magnetized. And when the current in the solenoid is turned off, then what happens? It depends on the material. If the material is a steel or the core is a steel one, it stays magnetized. The tiny atomic magnets remain lined up even when the external field is removed. An iron core inside the solenoid quickly demagnetizes when the current is switched off. Because the atomic magnets have enough vibrational energy to turn in random directions. So a magnet that can be switched on and off is known as an electromagnet. In this diagram we are comparing electric and magnetic fields. Electric fields are produced by two kind of charges, positive and negative. Earlier we have studied field due to a point positive charge and field due to a point negative charge which we studied in electricity when we, we were doing electricity unit and field due to a positive charge was radially outward and field due to a negative charge was radially inward. Now here we are studying electric field due to two point charges, their combined effect. 
and magnetic fields are associated with two magnetic poles north and south although they are also produced by charges but moving charges now according to basic law of magnetism also you must recall that like like poles repel and unlike poles attract each other now electric field points in the direction of the force experienced by a positive charge whereas magnetic field points in the direction of the force experienced by a north pole positive and negative charges can exist separately whereas north and south poles always come together